today's our topic is fractions okay first let we see what is a fraction fraction is in the form of a by b okay a by b in this we call a is called as numerator numerator and b is called as denominator denominator so for in this again i repeat in this a is called as numerator and b is called as denominator and we call it a, we call it as a by b a by b and for examples we have to take on this one 4 by 7 is called as a fraction either 1 by 2 is called as a fraction either 10 by 27 is called as a fraction in this 4 1 and 10 that is upper part upper parts are called as numerators and lower part we call it as denominator that means here 7 is called as denominator 2 is called as denominator 27 is called as denominator okay next this is a fraction in this fraction we have so many types and let us see the types so what are the types of fractions one is like fraction unlike fractions proper fractions improper fraction equivalent fractions and unit fraction and last one is mixed number so first see what is a like fraction what is a like fraction like fraction means it having same denominator denominator what is a denominator the lower part in a by b the lower part is called as the denominator okay in in all the fractions denominator is equal is called that means d is same in all the fractions for example here look at here 2 by 7 1 by 7 and 11 by 7 that means all the denominators of all these three fractions are equal so we call it as these three fractions are like fractions okay so that means and again we have to take some other examples so 3 by 8 and 11 by 8 so these two are also called as like fractions because these denominators are same okay these are called as like fractions next next what is the another fraction another type of fraction is unlike fractions unlike fraction means different denominators the fractions which have different denominators are called as unlike fractions let us see here example 1 by 2 5 by 7 and 8 by 9 this means what are the denominators here in this 2 is the denominator in this fraction 7 is the denominator and in this fraction 9 is the denominator so that means these are called as the d is different d is different not same okay let us take an another examples another examples means we have to take any one okay 21 by 7 or 30 by 6 okay this in this denominators are different okay that means these two fractions are called as unlike fractions okay what is the like fraction again i repeat what is the like fraction like fraction means d is same unlike fractions means d is different not same and what is the another type of fraction another type of fraction is proper fraction in this proper fraction what we see numerator always numerator is less than the denominator numerator is less than the denominator let us see 4 by 7 4 by 7 in this numerator is 4 and denominator is 7 so let us see here this is numerator is always less than the denominator so this is called as proper fraction and again we have to take 1 by 5 so numerator is 1 and denominator is 5 so this one also numerator is less than the denominator okay so these fractions are called as proper fractions next next type of fraction is improper fraction next type of fraction is improper fractions in this numerator is always greater than the denominator so let us see the examples 
so what is the example here here 10 is the numerator and 7 is the denominator so let us see which one is the big number 10 is the big number that means numerator is greater than the denominator so these fractions are called as the improper fractions they are like 19 by 11 in, in this one also 19 is the greater than the denominator here denominator is 11 okay and again i repeat what is the proper fraction proper fraction means in this numerator is less than the denominator okay what is the improper fraction improper fraction means numerator is greater than the denominator okay next next type of fraction is unique fractions or unit fraction unit unit means the name itself is indicates the numerator is always one okay if numerator is always one then we call it as unit fractions unit fraction so for example let us see 1 by 2 1 by 7 1 by 11 and 1 by 30 okay that means numerator is always equals to 1 is called as unit fractions and last fraction last type of fraction is mixed number or mixed fraction in this mixed number or mixed fraction means in this two types two types of fractions are mixing together we form this mixed fraction that means in this we have one is whole part and one is proper fraction what is proper fraction always numerator is less than the denominator okay always numerator is less than the denominator so here let us see the example in this 8 we call it as whole part 8 we call it as whole part and this 1 by 5 is call it as proper fraction so by combining these two we call it as this one is the mixed fraction how we can call this one is 8 1 by 5 okay 8 1 by 5 okay this is called as mixed fraction or mixed number okay and let us take another example 7 1 by 2 okay see let us see here numerator is less than always less than the denominator and this one is the called the whole whole part so these two together is called as the mixed fraction and we call it as 7 1 by 2 okay and last but not least is the equivalent fractions what is equivalent fraction fraction which express the value of the same part of a whole okay same part of a whole let us see the example that means we have take here 1 by 2 so we have if we multiply this fraction by numerator by 2 and denominator by 2 okay we we have 1 2 are 2 2 2 are 4 okay next this 1 by 2 is again multiply with 3 by 3 okay and then miss 3 2 3 is a 6 and again this same fraction okay i have to take here 1 by 2 here 1 by 2 here 1 by 2 multiply with 4 by 4 1 4 are 4 2 4 are 8 okay that means what are the fractions will coming 2 by 4 3 by 6 and 4 by 8 okay so these are called as equivalent fractions of 1 by 2 okay these are called as equivalent fractions of 1 by 2 that means when 2 by 4 we cancel it 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 that means what is the answer 1 by 2 here also 3 by 6 3 1s are 3 3 2s are 6 here also we get 1 by 2 what is 4 by 8 4 1s are 4 4 2s are 8 here also we get 1 by 2 so understood so that means all fractions these 2 by 4 3 by 6 and 4 by 8 are the equivalent fractions of 1 by 2 let us take another example for this equivalent fraction so here i take 1 by 3 so find out next three equivalent fractions of 1 by 3 so that means we have to multiply with 2 2 into 2 1 2 is a 2 3 3 is a 6 next 1 by 3 into 3 by 3 3 1 is a 3 3 3 is a 9 okay 1 by 3 into 4 by 4 1 4 is 4 3 4 is 12 okay then these are called as next three equivalent fractions of 1 by 3 that means 2 by 6 here 3 by 9 here 4 by 12 
okay these are called as equivalent fractions let us see again 2 by 6 2 ones are 2 2 threes are 6 that means here 1 by 3 3 by 9 3 ones are 3 3 threes are so that means here also 1 by 3 4 by 12 4 ones are 4 threes are that means here also 1 by 3 okay let us understood children so how many types of fractions so here one is like fraction and one is un unlike fraction. Like fraction means D is denominator is same. Unlike fraction is denominator is different. What is the proper fraction? Proper fraction means always numerator is less than the denominator. What is improper fraction? Improper fraction means always numerator is greater than the denominator. What is unit fraction? Unit fraction means always numerator is equals to 1. Okay, and what is mixed fraction? Mixed fraction means it is in the form of whole part and the proper fraction. That means example is 7, 1 by 2 or 8, 1 by 5. What is equivalent fractions? Here, here the value which express the same part of the whole value. That means 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 4 by 8 and 8 by 16. Okay, this is all about the types of fractions. Okay, let, let us, let I give some examples so, in this we have to find out what are the different types of fractions. Okay, children. So, 1 by 2, 1 by 7, 9 by 7, 3 by 11, 4 by 13. Okay, next 1 by 16 and, and 8, 3 by 8, 3 by 4. Okay, these are the fractions. In this we have to, we have to choose and here one, one is, one fraction is. 4 by 8. Okay. First here we have to find out. So I will give these fra fractions. And in this we have to find. One is like fractions. And another one is unlike fraction. And another one is proper fraction. And another one is improper fraction. And another one is unit fraction. And next one is mixed fraction. Mixed fraction. And next one is equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions. What are like fractions? Like fractions means the denominator is same. Here, look at here where the denominators are same. In these two denominators are same. So, what are like fractions? 1 by 7 and 9 by 7. These are called as like fractions. What are unlike fractions? Unlike fractions is denominator not same. Denominator not same means here 4 by 8, 1 by 2, 1 by 7, 3 by 11, 4 by 13, 1 by 16. So, these are all called as unlike fractions. Okay. What are proper fractions? Proper fractions means numerators are small. Smaller than the denominators. Numerator is smaller than the denominator. So, what we will get here? So, numerator is small here. So, 4 by 8. Numerator is small here. 1 by 2. So, here also. Numerator is small here. Here also. Numerator is no. Here, numerator is small. Here, numerator is small. Here also. Look at here. Numerator is small. So, these are all called as proper fractions. What is improper fraction? Numerator is big. Where is numerator is big here? Only here. Only one fraction is there. 9 by 7. What is unit fraction? Unit fraction means numerator is always equals to 1. So, here numerator is equals to 1. So, 1 by 2, 1 by 7 and 1 by 16. These are called as unit fractions. What is mixed fraction? Mixed fraction is in the form of whole part and the proper fraction. That means 8, 3 by 4 is the mixed fraction. And what is equivalent fraction? Equivalent fraction means it gives the same fraction. That means 4, 1 by 2 comma 4 by 8. Okay, children. So, this is the total concept of types of fractions. So, I will give some other fractions and you identify what is like fraction, what are unlike fractions, what are proper fractions. Okay. And, and send me the message in the comment box. I will check the answers and I will message you. So, I will give the examples. I will give I will give some fractions and in this you have to identify what are the proper fractions, what are the what are the unlike fractions and what are the what are the improper fraction proper fraction okay find all those all those in these things okay children okay. 
so this is your question okay in this you have to find like fraction and like fraction next proper fraction and next improper fraction next one is unit fraction next one is mixed fraction next one is equivalent fraction so find out all those things here and send me in the comment box i will check the answers and i will reply you thank you